Okay, I hope you all can see this beautiful slide. Um, so this is Ito campus. It's one of it's our main campus actually, and it was completed in 2018. We moved a lot of our stuff and facilities from other campuses to this main campus, and it's now the largest single campus in Japan. And Kyushu University actually was founded in 1911, and it's Japan's leading research-oriented national university, or it's one of Japan's leading research-oriented universities. Okay, so let me see. Good. Um, so we actually have four campuses, which are used actively by our students and researchers. In addition to our main campus, the Ito campus, we also have the hospital campus, and we have Ohashi campus and Chikushi campus. Okay, so our campuses are located in Fukuoka, which is the south part of Japan on a large island called Kyushu. And here we are in the north with Fukuoka city being one of the five largest cities in Japan with a population of 1.6 million people. And because of its location, Fukuoka has been always called and is still a gateway city for diplomacy and trading with our Asian neighbors, Asian countries from ancient times. And by the way, for those who don't know Japanese or Chinese characters, Fukuoka means literally translated happy hill. And every year, Fukuoka city is actually ranked um, in the top 10 of the world's most livable cities by the British magazine called Monaco. Now, why? Because of course it's a safe city and you get the modern city life, but you also get the Japanese traditions and customs such as festivals, shrines, temples. But then 20 minutes out of the city center, 30 minutes, you have the very beautiful nature with mountains, the ocean, the forests. Well, everything that you can wish for also in the neighboring cities such as Ito, Itoshima, for example. And of course, public transportation is very, very convenient with buses, subways, and trains, and everything makes it very easily accessible. So why not come here and live and study and have just a good time, right? Here you see some pictures of our Ito campus, which you can also find on our website. I just want to also show you a little bit about our library, which you can see on the bottom left picture. Um, so this is actually the largest library um, of a Japanese university with more than 4 million items. So it's really amazing. And I really recommend to study in there, enjoy events in there, and maybe, maybe sometimes fall asleep. Okay, so let me introduce some fast facts about Kyushu University. Kyushu University is home to approximately 19,000 students, and it is comprised of 12 undergraduate schools and 18 graduate schools and five research institutions. So currently over 2,300 international students from almost 100 countries and regions are studying at Kyushu University. And we also have a world-class reputation for research excellence in the fields of, for example, hydrogen or fuel cell, nanoscience, and biotechnology, and many, many more. Okay, here's some, five, some, some key points, five key points of Kyushu University. There are much more, of course. Um, first, I think the history is important. So it's Japan's fourth oldest national university. And it's one of the premier national seven universities, which are known as former imperial colleges of Japan. And they distinguish themselves as the most prestigious universities actually, and remain the cream of the crop in research and education. And as a large scale comprehensive university with a very wide range of academic fields, we provide students and researchers with cross-disciplinary research and learning opportunities within the university, also very important. And according to various international university rankings, which people always ask about, um, Kyushu University is ranked within the world's top 0.5% in almost all rankings. So also very, very good. And something also important is that our student and teacher ratio um, provides a really wonderful learning environment with a high level of interaction and engagement and academic support um, by your teachers. So all, I think all quite important points. Okay, here are just some famous research facilities of our um, university. Um, a lot of those examples are environment related, as you can see, so carbon emission is a topic, or again, fuel cell or organic photonics or mechanics, be it like, for example, the wind turbine lenses. Um, so we do research, for example, in such areas as well. 
Okay, we also have famous alumni. And I always like to brag about this person uh, because I just really think it's cool. Um, we have Dr. Wakata, he's an astronaut. And he's been to space um, in total for 11 months. And he's actually the first Asian commander of the International Space Station. So, okay, I just like to brag about that. Okay, so now I bragged a lot. Um, so if you're interested now, you might think, okay, how can I come to Kyushu University? There are a number of ways you can study at Kyushu University. We have a number of short-term programs from lasting from four weeks to up to one year. And of course, we have degree-seeking programs in English or in Japanese language. So there are many, many ways how you can enter Kyushu University, and we will introduce some to you today. Whichever way you choose to come to our university, um, we have a lot of activities for our international students to actually experience Japan. So even if you decide to come to Japan only joining in English, that's absolutely fine. You can still experience Japan directly and feel it. Okay, so this was an outline of our university in general. And I would also now like to use um, the chance to introduce our international undergraduate programs in English briefly. We call them IUPE. So these programs are part of our globalization process and they were set up actually already more than 10 years ago. Um, so IUP are four year bachelor degree programs taught in English language only. So you don't need any knowledge in Japanese to apply and to graduate. And in our university, there are five international undergraduate programs, four in engineering and five in the school of, and uh, four in engineering and one in the um, school of agriculture. And then we have also programs in the School of Interdisciplinary Science and Innovation, which you will hear about later again. And currently over 100 students alone are studying in these IUP programs. So, and they're from many, many different countries, all over Asia, they're from the Americas, from Europe. So it's really, really international. Okay, so if you decide to come to our university and join the undergraduate programs, um, this would be the academic structure. So in the first year, all students at Kyushu University go through the general education period, which we call Kikan education. And here you have liberal arts and language subjects and the science core, but you also have to take Japanese language for six months. It, that's a must. And after that, um, you can decide if you want to continue taking Japanese or not. And after the Kikan education, um, the students start taking their specialized education, be it in engineering or in ag agriculture, or for example, um, in the School of Interdisciplinary Science and Innovation. And then in the fourth year, um, you will conduct your graduation work. So four years to get your bachelor degree in English. That's the idea. And also some of you, as I mentioned, might be interested in studying Japanese or Japanese culture. So we have a number of, or a lot of um, Japanese language courses offered at our university for our international students. They're all for free, of course. So you don't have to worry. Um, if you come to Japan without Japanese knowledge, you can still learn it while you're here. That's perfect. Okay, and after graduation, what do our international students in the undergraduate programs tend to do? Well. Honestly, most of them decide to get a master degree. Um, they decide to either stay at Kyushu University or any other university in the world or in Japan, because our university is a high level university. So if you graduate here with good marks, you're gonna get into almost any university you want. And others decide to just um, start working either in Japan or in their home countries or anywhere in the world. Okay, a little bit about admission and tuition fees and financial aid. Um, I hope so far everything is informative. I know I'm rushing, but that's because of the time setting. Um, so about um, admission information, you will find details of that on the website of Kyushu University. And actually this will be updated um, at the end of August, um, latest at the beginning of September, you will have it. Um, and because there are a number of changes, of course, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so yeah, end of August, you'll get the information. What is important to know in general, um, that there are a number of steps, of course, to um, apply to a university. There will be an online application period, but you also have to send in your paper application form, sometimes in January done, then by post. And then there are usually two screenings. Um, one will include an interview, which will probably don't be done online. And admission decisions are usually announced at the end of March. And then you can start your studies, for example, from October. Um, also, 
you can usually only apply for one school at Kyushu University, so not multiple schools. So these are some rules in admission, but please check with our um, websites. Also, as Kyushu University is a national university, our enrollment and tuition fees are exactly the same as for any national university in Japan. And there are no differences between Tokyo University, Hokkaido University, or Kyushu University. Um, but for the first year, some of in our international students will be entitled to half exemption of the tuition fee. So that's quite good, I think. Also, of course, we have dormitories on our campus. So when you enroll at Kyushu University, we will help you look for housing on or off campus. So you always can check in advance if you're eligible to apply for housing on campus. Okay, and the prices are um, quite, quite good, I think, for students. Which brings me to prices and costs. Um, here's a very detailed list of the costs for studying Kyushu University. With the application fee, there might be some smaller changes, but the numbers are all maximum numbers. And just for you to know, as every monthly living expenses in Japan are usually high compared to other Asian countries, of course, we are expensive country, but living in Kyushu, in the Kyushu area, including Fukuoka, is usually cheaper than in other areas of Japan. So that's also a very good um, benefit, I think, mer merit of our city. But okay, um, this is a lot of money. So of course, uh, you might be interested in scholarships. You can have, um, well, there are a number of scholarships private and public ones available. And if you Google, for example, Kyushu University Scholarship, or if you visit our websites, you will definitely find the latest information. Um, I would just here like to mention three of our main scholarships, which are really cool. Um, there is the MEXT scholarship, a government scholarship, which is the best scholarship ever. Um, I actually came with that scholarship to Japan, um, but it's also very competitive. It's a full scholarship, um, which covers your tuition and your enrollment fee for your complete four years, for example, in your degree and a round trip air ticket. And you have a monthly stipend of 117,000 Japanese yen. So you don't need to have a part-time job while you study and you can just focus on your studies. And we also have the Kyushu University Scholarship and the MEXT Honors Scholarship by JASL. So um, also these scholarships are really good but you might have to consider having a part-time job, which is no problem actually, as our international students, a lot of them have part-time jobs here. Okay, this is all from my side now regarding um, the overall overview of our Kyushu University. Um, you can find the, all the information on our website then. So thank you for listening to this part now. <laughs>